All right, so I'm back again. Doing a little side quest action. Expanding all this. Yeah. So ever since I started making these videos, I've been trying to make it so my voice sounds better and I just have no luck. It's either too loud or too quiet. I don't know how these people get their voices perfect. Well, actually, I guess they edit it and do shit with that because I don't edit nothing. I don't have a computer to edit it with. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. All right. Here's to you for protecting Hogsmeade from that terrifying troll. No one could turn the I wish I could fly on that broom, even though it was hard as fuck. So my last video on this one, it's not really, maybe the one before that, they weren't concurrent. Because when I started recording the one right after, I kept falling asleep. Hogsmeade, here I come. And it probably happened three or four times during the making of the video, so I, I just said fuck it and deleted it. Let's see where I'm going. God damn. Yeah, whatever. How are you? What? I gotta take the train? There's got to be a faster way to do this.
Watch it, lady. Can I fast travel there? No, because I didn't. Fuck. Damn, look how far the. Holy shit! Look how big the map is. So sorry for this, guys. What is that? I want to jump down there, but I don't want to die. What I see that. Yes. So before I started recording, I went to uh, Hogsmeade and sold a bunch of my stuff because... I was opening up chests and it was telling me that my inventory was full, so I, had to, I didn't want to just destroy it. I wanted to get some money for it, so that's what I did. Okay, here's a fast travel spot. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. What? I thought it was a fast travel spot. What the fuck is this? Revelio. Whatever, man. How you do it? Sweet. There's got to be a fast travel spot that I go by. I thought that last thing one. Or that last thing was, but I guess not. Out of the way. What's down here? Nope. Ain't fighting that thing. Oh, there's a... That, now that's definitely... A, what are those things? I want to see something. Oh, so they're different.
so that's what I want to get to. What the fuck was that? I think it's cool that it lets me go wherever I want. What? Watch it now, let me in. Ah, cool, it did. How nice to see you, my young friend. Sorry to barge in. Anything else? Okay, so here's another one of these puzzles. Let's see what kind of puzzle it is. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. There's nothing around here to even do. Lumos. Nothing. What's over there that's red? Let's get into some action. Unless it's some a dark mongrel. Dude, I fucked that thing up. Yeah, boy. What is that? Incendio. What was the point of that? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. So we gotta almost be here by now. This is taking forever. Good news is fast travel back. Shut up, birds.
Oh, another two galleons. Great. Incendio. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, this thing's kind of hard. Levioso. Incendio. Expelliant. Accio. Expelliant. Le Incendio. Levioso. Expelliarmus! Levioso! Incendio! Expelliarmus! I got it! Last time that thing fucked me up! Very nice! And I still don't know what this shit does, but... I will take it. If you're watching this video, please give me any pointers you can that you think would make it better. Or just hit the like button and subscribe. <laughs> Seems a pleasant enough little place. That Pippin should have been here by now. Here we go. Handy resource indeed. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Always late that Pippin. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Okay, so... Uh... Where's the invisibility one? Oh, I right hear. Rebellion. 
Well, how the hell am I supposed to drink it? I don't have no visibility potion. Rebellion. I don't see nothing to drink, lady. Revelio. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I had it right here. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Wow. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. I should be going now. Thank you. What is this? Looks like there's a chest over here. Revelio. Here it is. Ooh. Should be another one over here. Probably in this building. Yep. Getting the hang of this shit. Oh, it's locked. I can't get in there. But I can maybe blast my way through. Hey, yeah. Okay, maybe not. What is that? Is that a cave? this place <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Akio. Sweet. Oh my god, unidentified face item. Alright, getting the fuck out of here. And I'm pretty sure as soon as I go back in the water from the cave, there's something that is going to come attack me. Elio! I bet you this water is ice cold. Where'd that thing go? Fucking kidding me. That's better. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? What was that noise? You hear that? You know what I want to see? Fuck, that's what I wanted. He gave me a new robe. Really? Why the fuck can't I have it? What is this shit now? Oh, 
Ah. Get the fuck out of here. Give me one sec. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? You should keep it. She doesn't deserve to have it. I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. Some things are sacred amongst potioners. I shall return it to her immediately. Rebellion. Now what? This one looks like some German Nazi shit. What else did they just give me? I thought they gave me a hat. Yeah, they did give me a hat, didn't they? <laughs> he looks like such a dork.
How do I get to the room of requirement? Let's get a broom. If something shouldn't be far. First they're teaching students jinxes. Next thing you know it's unforgivable. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. I want to change his what are we gloves. Today? A moon trimmer. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to... Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. 
I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Who said I'm gonna beat her time? <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to smoke a cigarette out the ah, window. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. <sighs> oh, sorry. We can try this, I guess. Go play some Quidditch. Yes, look at that. Front seat. I'm just so impressed with the amount of shit they have in this game to do. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah. So impressed. Look at this beautiful, gloomy day. I love gloomy weather. I should have been born a vampire or turned into one. Hey, you, Gryffindor. Shut up, lady. Amelda Rays? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. You're probably Let's gonna keep holding it. it too, because I Slytherin suck. versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose.
What do I gotta do? Made it. This will take some getting used to. I want it out of there. How do I stop this? This shit is fucking hard. That's better. Whoa, what the fuck is that? I knew I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. How did I miss that?
made it. Thank God that's over. So no wonder you steer with the with L3 and it controls your speed too as well as R2. It's just weird. I ain't doing that again. Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. But what say you? Want to try again? Fuck no. Perhaps later. I have other things to do. <laughs> I hope one of those other things is practicing your flying. I'm gonna have my cousin fuck you up. How about that? What's this? <laughs> Revelio. I wish I was a metamorphosis. Imagine being able to change your eye color. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video right now. I don't think I have enough time to really do anything else. So these are the two main quests. And these are side quests. See, there's a lot to learn here. I don't want to go to work in the morning. I just want to stay home and play this. <laughs> but all right, that's it. Peace out.